Hey guys, what's up, it's Jax here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cow farm for your Minecraft world. Now, this isn't a micro cow farm, but an upgraded version of that, so you get loads more meat. Not only does this give us lots of beef and leather, it also cooks that beef, so we get nice, juicy steak. So we've got two layers of cows here, we have the top and the bottom. Now the top ones here are the ones that we breed to get cows into the bottom. Now once they're in the bottom, we wait for them to grow up, and then once they've grown up, we press this button here. Super simple. Lava gets dispensed. We press the button again. And you'll see, eventually we'll get to start getting some steak into here. Now you want to press the button again until the lava flows out and the cows sort of fall into here and die. You can see they're all fall and dying, and their drops aren't being lost in the lava, and they're actually ending up in our chest here. Now, once we have done this, we just come up to the top with some wheat. Now, if you want to AFK here, you can do that by grabbing out a minecart and sitting in it like this. And you just want to hold your click down. And this will just breed loads and loads of cows. And you'll notice in a few seconds, when we hop down here, we're going to have lots of baby cows down here. Now, you can keep on doing this more and more. Um, and you can have less cows in here if your server or your computer is struggling. Um, or you can have more. Um, it depends on what you want. But yes, yeah, so you just want to breed these for a while, get baby cows down there, and once they grow up, you just press that button and then the lava will kill them and get you loads of steak and um, leather. Now, sometimes you do get a bit of raw beef. This beef is from the cows up the top here dying. That only happens if you have loads of cows in here like I've got here. Um, but if you have less, um, you don't need to worry. And the cows will sort of even itself out with a few of them dying and then until it gets to that perfect number. This farm does not require many materials at all. So they're on your screen now. But the main thing is you'll need loads and loads of cows. You can start with just two and slowly breed up, or you can get a bunch in from, it, say, a paddock that you have in your world. So let's get going with this farm. Alrighty, we're going to start by placing in our double chest like this, coming behind it and placing two hoppers going into that, then going two out with slabs on each side of those hoppers, then placing a redstone block here, and a redstone block here. We're going to place rails here, and here these need to be powered rails. They're going on the redstone blocks, and then regular rails going right across and on, on top of the hoppers. Place a block at the end of both of these, like so. Then we can place our minecart with a hopper on that, like this. Now we're going to come one block up on the side and place in some slabs going across. You can use full blocks, but slabs are just slightly more resource efficient. So we get something that looks like this. On the back side, place a row of blocks like this, going right across. Then place a dispenser here and a dispenser here, and then fill in these blocks in the middle. These need to be dispensers, not droppers, because it needs to dispense the lava, lava rather than drop the actual item. Then we can come in the sides here and build this up um, like that. We want to grab out some signs. Just place signs going right across the bottom. You don't have to put anything on these signs. We just have these to stop the um, lava from flowing down. Now you can use normal signs. These may potentially burn if you leave the lava on for too long. So if you want to be safe, use warped signs. Um, I've got normal signs here because they're a bit easier to get, but you can use warped signs for extra safety and I would suggest doing that if you can. Now place a row of glass over the front like so. Um, yeah, so warped or crimson signs won't burn, so I suggest using those. But let's grab this glass, and just like that. We're going to add in another row of blocks, just going right along, like this, right around. And then we will grab out some trapdoors. With these trapdoors, we're placing them right along, and we're going to flick them down eventually, like this. We'll flick them down for now, just so I can explain how this works. Um, we'll have them flick down like this, and when the cows, baby cows, um, spawn, they'll fall through because they're smaller than the big cows. But for now, we're flicking these up so we can get lots of cows in here without worrying about anything falling down or anything happening. Now we're going to place some glass around this case here. We can now set up our cows. Um, with these cows, I suggest doing this now because we've still got a bit more redstone to do, but that allows the cows to grow up, etc. So with these cows, you can lead these in with wheat or um, leads just by bringing up a staircase and throwing them in here. Um, I'm going to be using spawn eggs because I'm in creative just for the sake of it. But you can start off with two and then you grab out your wheat 
and breed them just like this. And you just start constantly breeding them until you have quite a few cows in here. Um, but I'm going to spawn a few in like this. And then you can come along and just breed them. So I suggest starting maybe, if you can, maybe grab about five cows, six cows um, and breed them. And then um, you should get some baby cows like this. And notice because we've got these trapdoors closed, the baby cows aren't falling down. When we open these trapdoors a bit later on, the baby cows that we do produce later will fall down. While those cows are growing up, we're going to rotate around to the back here, place an orange concrete or any sort of building block on these two dispensers, and then bring some blocks across like this, placing redstone on all of those blocks. Now we're going to choose either the left or right hopper, um, doesn't really matter. Come one block away, two blocks up, break the first block like this. Place a button on this block at the front, so when you go on in front of the chest, you should be able to see this button, should be able to press it very easily. Place a redstone torch on the back of this, a block, a redstone torch, and then finally another block. And you'll notice when we press this button, you should hear that little click. And if you can't hear that click because you've got your game sounds turned off, if these torches are changing like this when you press the button, you're all good to go. Come around to the sides where these dispensers are and place a lava bucket in these dispensers again. Make sure they're dispensers and not droppers. And just to double check again, when we press this button, lava should dispense out, press it again, it should be retracted. Now you're going to want to add a ladder on the side here. This isn't necessary, you don't need to have a ladder. You could have a staircase or some scaffolding. I think a ladder looks nice. And then if you want at the top, you can set up a system like this. All I've got is two powered rails like this on each end, rails going across the top and a minecart. This allows me to AFK here and to get loads of cows and um, breed them. Now this isn't necessary, so I didn't include it in the material list as you don't have to have it, but it just takes an extra four powered rails and some power source blocks and a few rails in between that. Um, here is a picture of it if you want to copy it. Now, as you notice, uh, I've still got a few baby cows in here, maybe one, two, maybe three. Now, if you were to let the trapdoors down now, those baby cows would fall down. Now, that's not the end of the world. They might escape, they might not. But if you're happy with the amount of adult cows you've got up there, that is okay. And you can open, come in here just by breaking those two blocks temporarily. Open these trapdoors. A few baby cows might fall through. Not to worry, not to stress. We've got two falling through. Um, that's all good. The cows don't want them to escape. Punch them in there. And then we're good to go. So then we can finally start actually breeding this, these top level cows with some wheat. So we just want to come up here and breed these guys all over again. Oop, oh, I think I missed a trapdoor. I did miss a trapdoor. Let's just flick that and get this cow back in there. <laughs> now we've got all the trapdoors open, as you can see here. And then we're going to come here and just breed all these. Now, when breeding, you want to make sure you're moving side to side, because otherwise the cows can crush each other. I missed a trapdoor here as well. Look at that. So we've got to flick these trapdoors here. Um, so let me go under here and flick them. Oh, yep, cows, uh, baby cows are falling down. And we now have some baby cows in here. Now, if you do mess up some trapdoors there, don't worry, you can break into the farm. A worst comes to worst, a few baby cows escapes. But it doesn't actually break the farm and you can just get more baby cows down there. You can breed these to your heart's content um, until they run out of hearts. Now, you'll notice soon these hearts will stop appearing. Um, and that's when I sort of have to wait a little bit before um, I breed any more. Then you want to wait for these baby cows down here to grow up. And once they have grown up, you just press this button. So now you guys know how to build this awesome cow farm. And on that note, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.